Now there's one other thing that we may want to do here. And I've just, you know, synchronized right now just to get that done with so that we have everything consistent. And now we start with a uh, another correction uh, step and that is noise reduction. Okay, now we've shot this series from a tripod and we used or I used ISO 100. So it should have minimal noise. But just to demonstrate what you can do here, I'm going to go to one of those darker exposures. Okay, that's almost got blocked up shadows here in the in the uh, in the deep shadow areas. I'm going to go to the, to the sky section and I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but on my screen I see noise in that sky. Okay, it's not up to a uh, to a point where it, it's um, it's worrisome. It, it worries me. It doesn't worry me. It's not enough to um, to worry me. But I'm just going to show you um, a little trick that you can apply to your image in this kind of situation, and that is to apply noise reduction to those images that are surely going to contribute to the sky in this case, which is a bit noisy, and don't apply noise reduction to the other images to avoid making them too blurry, too soft. Okay, So the way you do this is you go to one of those, and I probably pick the, the, the prior exposure here, a little, little lighter exposure. And I'm going to the Details tab, or the Detail tab in, in Lightroom here, and I'm just going to take that luminance slider and slide it up until that noise is nicely reduced. Now you can use the details uh, slider to bring back some of those details if too much of them is, are lost. But remember, the tower itself will probably be assembled from the brighter exposures in the final HDR. Okay, that's the trick here. I'm going to apply the noise reduction to the darker exposures because I know those are going to end up contributing to the, to the sky and that's what, where I want to reduce the noise. So without any further work here, I'm just going to uh, remember which one that was, 9079 it was, because now I need to um, select the darker exposures only. Note that I don't have those selected here, the brighter exposures, and I'm going to sync those again. And this time, check none. And oh, where is the where is the where is the noise reduction? Right, this is what we want to, to synchronize here. And I'm going to hit synchronize, and that will apply the changes that I've applied to that one image that I've been working on to the other four that have been selected right now and down in the film strip to these four images here. So click synchronize, and after a split second, Lightroom will have uh, synchronized those noise reduction settings only to the darker exposures. Now let me select the entire series again here. And uh, that wraps up the preparation step uh, that we have to do for this image. Now what's left is, uh, since we're done with all the preparation that we want to do for now in Lightroom, we're going to take those images and uh, take them over to Photomatics. That's where we're going to process this series. Mm -hmm.